Well, I, I started my career in uh, Peoria, Illinois. Um, I had gone to Bradley University and, and was not a journalism major. I was a speech and theater major. Um, but I ended up working at the um, radio station there. And at the radio station, uh, the public radio station, I started uh, doing news. Cheryl first came to WBEZ in 1984, a long time ago, and she was with us for about 10 years. I was program director to be easy at that time, and uh, we were looking for a city hall reporter. When I first came to Chicago, I started covering uh, Cook County government, and not too many other people at that time were covering uh, county government, and, and I was surprised to see that. We were a brand new news shop around the time we hired Cheryl. We'd only been around for a couple of years, but we had national public radio. We wanted to be a local news department that sounded like NPR. We met Cheryl for the first time and we really liked her personality. Uh, she was pretty green. She didn't have a lot of experience when we got her, but neither did any of the rest of us. I came at a time, an incredible time, to be a journalist in Chicago uh, when uh, Harold Washington was the mayor of the city. She was probably at the heart of all of our coverage of Harold Washington. So uh, she was really, really critical to be easy in those early days. And. It was um, kind of a reporter's dream. <laughs> if you were looking for tension, there it was. If you were looking for uh, conflict, there it was. The president recognizes Alderman Terrace. I move we adjourn. You heard the motion, all the favor six five saying aye, vote no. I always thought that Cheryl was the most serene, most calm reporter that I ever uh, followed or I ever worked with particularly during that Harold Washington period, which was very volatile, very uh, tempestuous. No matter how crazy the news business gets, she's always the same. She's always even handed, even tempered, uh, doesn't get excited and just does the job and does the job very well. Mayor Washington was a great person to, uh, to talk to. Uh, you know, he could be standoffish with reporters and he could be close to reporters. He would say, uh, politics ain't beanbag. And that was certainly true um, during the, the Washington years. The confrontation is part of life, it's certainly part of politics. It's certainly part of the career I bargained for. I'm ecstatic, I'm in seventh heaven. The other thing that um, I learned um, covering that administration was really uh, the city of Chicago. Because most of her work has been for NPR, the crucial role she has played is to interpret Chicago to the rest of the world. She does have this ability of kind of understanding Chicago in a way only a native Chicagoan can, but then communicating that sense of, of this city uh, to a broader national audience that will make somebody in Miami, Florida or Spokane, Washington uh, care. I think that comes partly because of her love for Chicago and her long tenure and long history here. I love Chicago. <laughs> I love Chicago with uh, all its faults, you know, because there are plenty. And uh, there's trouble, uh, but there's also beauty. Cheryl has been at NPR for nearly 25 years, and she's established herself just as a terrific reporter. She's on the national desk, and she's covered some of the biggest national stories to occur in her time at the network and has done so beautifully. I'll bet there aren't many human beings walking around on the planet who have witnessed more of the history of at least the central part of the United States than Cheryl. I mean, you talk about, you know, the Gulf oil spill or something. She was there, you know, Hurricane Katrina, she covered that. Where I learned not only about the, the uh, devastation that was there, but the resiliency of, of people. And that's uh, one of the things that you really learn in reporting throughout the country is, um, you know, how people can be resilient no matter some of the things that they face. But uh, she doesn't just cover a hurricane. She covers the hurricane with that eye about how does this fit into the social fabric of this city or this region and so forth. And that's one of the things that I've just always admired about her. She's. She is a social justice warrior, a quiet warrior uh, before anything else. She cares very deeply about people and their stories. 
And I think that people can sense that, and that's why they're willing to open up to her. Cheryl has long been interested in criminal justice and social justice issues. And she's been doing reporting on that for a long time. And now everybody's talking criminal justice, this, the criminal justice system and reforming it. It's the thing. You know, I think that those are important stories for people to know. And in the policy arena for legislators and other folks to uh, hear those types of stories, to know how they could be helpful or, you know, how they can impact those, those lives. And when we look for someone to really shine on those stories, to dig in and to explain to our audience what the issues are and how real people are being affected, we turn to Cheryl because she's so good at it. The thing that I think sets her apart from most others is her humanity. I mean, she, she is a genuinely human person and that comes out in her reporting. It influences her writing, it influences her delivery, and ultimately I would guess it influences the way people hear the story. It's because of her excellence that she's getting this award, not just because she's managed to stick around so long. I mean, go through my mind of the people I admire in journalism and, and the people who have uh, meant something to me in my career and, and her name always rises to the top. When when I first heard that Cheryl was getting this award, I said, aren't you too young for a Lifetime Achievement Award? Um, <laughs> she assures me that she actually is not. But, um, I don't want you all to give her any ideas. Don't make her think that she can like, you know, put away her mic now and, you know, go rest on her laurels. We need her. We need her to keep doing great stories.